crow, a cat, a snake in heck, and yes, a floating head of death. A crow, a cat, a snake in heck, <laughs> and yes, a floating head of death. Oh, now look who's getting bored, falling asleep and starting to snore. What's this all mean, Spooky Steve? What's it all for? A crow, a cat, a snake, anything more? <laughs> There's nothing more, Steve. This is your fate, ruling in the innermost ring of heck with a crow, a cat, and a snake. <laughs> Great life. Not. Look at your minions. They're all so bored. Look, they're moving, Steve, but moving toward what? You used to be spooky, Steve, but you got soft, chocolate chip kookier. They're not looking for cookies, Steve. They want spookier. There, a snake, a cat, a crow. They're creeping along. They're keeping it low. Perhaps this is where they kill you, or stage a coup, or raise Craig from the dead. Just kidding. Craig is deader than an orange door inch. No, no, no. They're sneaking by you. Up, 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 the staircase winds. Up, 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 your minions climb. Up out of heck, up out of the fire, all drenched in sweat and pulled up by desire. Now wait, do cats, crows, or snakes actually sweat? Hmm. I think we'll need a fact check. Look, now they're lifting the dungeon door. Heat is belching, bad moans rising. Never more. Up into the forest, so still and so dark. No path, no light, no guide, no spark. They close the dungeon door on the thermonuclear. They're searching for something or for someone much spookier. A crow, a cat, a snake from heck, and yes, now wait, what about the floating head of death? Hmm, looks like he may have been written out of this year's story. No bother. A crow, a cat, a snake. Can you guess just where these three are going next? An incredible journey. Absurdable, journable. Into the night, into the forest of phantoms and fright. A shiver to the left. A snake. What's that? Bursting from the bushes. A snarl. A growl. It's the werewolf. A sniff. A howl. A the moon is out. And the chase is on. He tries to fly away, but the snake, he wraps around his leg. Now the cat sinks his teeth into the snake's tail, and the crow starts to flap, and the snake starts to wail. The cat 
scatter wall. It's a cluster of fear and hurt. It's a terrified threesome floundering, flailing, rolling around in the dirt. The werewolf laughs and he licks his teeth. My, 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 isn't this a tasty threat? Is death upon them? And is all hope lost? They want it spookier. Perhaps this is the cost. And the werewolf snickers and howls as they take their last breath. But wait! It's the floating head of death! The eight ball of salvation bursts from under the cover. The wolf jumps back in surprise and the floating head hovers. The head dangles his string down, down, down to the crow's beak. And he lifts the whole mess of them up, up, up out of reach. The four of them almost free from the trap. But then the wolf leaps and sketches and snatches the paw of the cat. And claws sink into paws. And the cat cries. And the snake stretches. And the crow claw claws. And the head lurches. They're all too heavy. They're floating, and then they're sinking, and they're floating again. The whole gangling, dangling, changling mess of them. And now they're skimming the trees, and they're screeching, and they're biting, and they're scratching, and they're fighting, and they're tossing, and they're tumbling, they're bumping, and they're bumbling in the moonlight breeze. A crow, a cat, a snake from heck, and a werewolf hanging from the head of death. A crow, a cat, a snake, what's next? And the wolf still hanging from the floating head of death. This whole crazy, daisy chain of them, pulled by some force, is careening and screaming towards the edge of the forest. The floating head, he loses steam. And they crash to the ground. And the moonlight gleams. They dust themselves off. They wheeze and they cough. They gander around. And look what they found. Moonlight shines upon a house. With a porch. And a fire inside. And a shadow in the door. And then a voice so spooky that the crow's feathers curl. It's the voice of a master. It's the voice of a girl. Come, crow, put upon my head and slither snake around my leg. Floating head, werewolf. I've called you all here, so don't be afraid, come over my dears, now crawl cat, up in my sleeve, I'm your master now, I am spookiest Eve. That's right. And now the real fun begins. <laughs> 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 <laughs>